The A120 is a 64-mile road that runs from Puckeridge to West Colchester before taking a short break whilst the A12 takes over and it then starts up again on the other side of Colchester and makes its way to Harwich. If you were to head that way, about four miles out of Colchester, you'll drive under a bridge and unless somebody pointed it out to you, you probably wouldn't realise that it doesn't actually lead to anywhere. Not only that, you'll drive past a suspiciously wide carriageway that looks an awful lot like a slip road in the making. What's going on here? It all starts back in the 1980s when the Colchester Bypass was extended from the A12 all the way down to Harwich. As part of the project, they built a short dual carriageway that would run from the A12 to the other side of Elmstead Market. This allowed traffic to go around Colchester and avoid the heavily congested A133. A small spur road was built and numbered as an additional part of the A133, linking directly to the A120 heading north. The plan was to build another spur road or set of connecting slip roads that would complement the A133, allowing traffic to join the A120 20 to head south, but for some reason, the road building project was cancelled at the last minute. The thing is, they'd already built a bridge in these small bits of slip road to allow these other slip roads or spur road to be connected, but it was too late. The project was over and it didn't matter that they'd wasted their time and efforts in building something that would never be used. And who cares that it's required annual safety checks and maintenance at the taxpayer's expense for the last 40 years? Had the spur road been built, it would have allowed residents on the east side of Colchester to access the A120 and beyond. Instead, to access the A120, you've either got to mission through Colchester itself, or head through the small villages using the local roads to access a roundabout in this random location. Between Colchester and Elmstead Market is a section of dual carriageway that today looks a little bit out of place, but it's also something that was constructed to later not be used properly. The larger road was put in place so that the missing slip road or spur road could be added in. Of course, as we know, this didn't happen. The end result of all of these cancellations is that for 40 years we've got a bridge that served absolutely no purpose other than costing us money. The additional carriageway that was supposed to be used as a slip road is now being used as an unofficial lorry park. And we've got that random stretch of dual carriageway that seems to be going to waste. And for a while it looked like all of this was going to be useless. Until around 2019 when a £70 million project was announced that would see the construction of a link road between the A133 and the A120. Hooray! After all these years of paying to look after a bridge we're finally going to see it opened and we get to use it. Except we don't. Why reuse a piece of infrastructure that's already there and built for the exact purpose when you can just build something new for a greater cost? Along with a new link road, they're looking to build in the region of 7,500 houses as part of a new garden city or town. No worries there, and the plan is to build the missing link road along a new alignment as well as constructing a new junction with the A120. They'll not be using our bridge at all, or the slip roads for that matter, but at least the short section of dual carriageway should see a new lease of life. Here's what's really clever about it all. Essentially, they're taking a plan that was designed and put together in the 1980s, albeit with a few tweaks, and putting it into place 40 years later. But at the same time, they're adding 7,500 houses to the equation, which means I'm not sure the original plan is actually fit for purpose. However, maybe like before, they'll cancel the entire project just before it's finished. I guess we're going to have to wait until 2025, which is when the new Link Road and the new Garden Village is due for completion. In any case, the unused bridge over the A120 shall remain as an unused bridge over the A120 with no plans in place to see it redeveloped into anything. Thanks for watching.